puede ganar y que hace más tan especial que es que hay poca competencia en el circuito o si es simplemente un pedal de No, I, I know the game too well to understand what there really is to appreciate about both of them. I mean, Federer makes it look so easy, and, and you could see him in the fifth set, and you wouldn't know if he was losing, if he was winning. Um, you wouldn't know if the match just started. Um, you know, Nadal is the complete opposite. You know, he's so physical, and every point matters, and he probably concentrates better than anybody I've ever seen in sports. Um, the most important point to him is the next one. And I've never seen him quit on one ball, let alone one point, let alone one match. Um, so his physicality is, is what separates him, really. His, his speed, athleticism, um, and his ability to just play with that kind of spin and margin and power. I mean, he can, he hits the ball with full aggression and full margin of error. Um, so his athleticism, I think, is his greatest asset. Which one I enjoy watching more? Um, I enjoy probably watching Nadal more um, because I feel like he's working for it. You know, better wins than you think. I, I can't understand how he does this. And you can identify quite as well. Uh, but with Nadal, you have to only respect the, the effort. And the discipline. Última pregunta. Andrés, en otras conferencias de prensa usted ha, ha dicho que le encanta el juego de Federer y que lo ha sorprendido su habilidad. ¿Usted considera que vamos a tener más de Federer o que está por el diario? Uh, all of us and I'm, I'm I'm out of the business of predicting what Federer can do and not do because he has impressed me for many years. You know, um, yeah, I thought this year he was going to do it again at, at, at the U.S. Open. You know, so he still has time. Uh, there's no question. He's what is he, 28 years old. Um, I won more Grand Slams after the age of 29 than I did before. So. And he plays the game much easier than I played it. He has much less uh, wear of the tether, much less physical uh, you know, limitations. Um, so I, I think we're going to see much more of him. And, and, and now with Nadal at the top, you know, it changes also your mindset. It changes your, your, your pressure. It changes the way you approach the game. And I think in some ways, it would be liberating to him to only just worry about himself now and not everybody else. Um, and I think we're going to see him still be at the top, but, you know, so much can happen in such a short period of time in our sport. You know, and for just a few months, something's not right. You injure something or, or, you, or you don't prepare right and you lose a little bit of confidence in somebody else's the, the, the playing field can shift very, very fast. I mean, I've never seen the doll not try, but we've also seen him go through stages where he doesn't seem to be himself. And this is the difficulty with tennis. It's only you. It's not a team, you know. So if something's a little bit wrong, it gets exposed. Vamos a estar en la que